Oh wow, that is a huge, beautiful big knife. Yeah, yeah, you, you like my big knife? I love your big knife. Let me touch it. It's so big. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello to all the head that sees his land. I'm here with my friend Hugh Cow. Hello. Okay, it's been like almost two years. I have not seen you in forever. I know, it's been too long. And your hair's gone very, very long. So let's look at the little paranormal hair activity situation here. So you've been doing your own hair color, yeah? Yep. It actually looks not that bad on camera, guys, because in person, like this looks really orangey. Um, but you know what? She's here now. It's okay. <laughs> You're here. Can we show them your bracage in the back? Yes, yeah, show everything. <laughs> oh, well, I think that you can kind of see the breakage right in through here. So you guys take a look. You can see here. It kind of looks cool. Yeah. Have you ever thought about cutting it into like an emo mullet? No, never. No, no, no. Well, no, no you don't want that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I like my long hair. You can see here. She has little short bits kind of just everywhere through the crown. And this is very common when we lighten our hair. We see this little bracage. I kind of don't mind it because it kind of gives volume <laughs> and texture to your hair. Are you ready to get started? You guys know we're going to use Big Nine per usual. I'm a little bit scared. I ain't going to lie because anytime you cross a demarcation line like up here and it touches the previous lightened hair, you can cause more breakage. Here's the thing. Her natural hair is like a level two. It's pretty dark you know, almost black. And then as you pull it out here, I just wanna show you guys all of the breakage. So look at this. So there's actually more that we don't really see. And it's kind of, you, I can literally just pick them and lift them right up. And you see the, the length difference. Can you guys see that? So I'm just gonna use a nice little tool here to do the retouch. So when I apply it, I can just tap it right on the retouch only. And I'm not afraid of it touching this band because this band, her hair is only lifted to about like an eight and a half. So it has potential going further. I'm only gonna use 20 volume though because I wanna go slow. I'm not gonna use 40, nothing crazy. I know you guys are always judging me thinking I'm using 40 volume on the scalp all the time. No, there's a time and place. All right, so we're gonna use Guy Tang My Dentity Big Nine Cream Lightener. This lifts up to nine levels. And we're gonna use the Delicate Developer. This is a 20 volume developer. This is important that you use the Delicate Developer because, well, not only because it smells amazing. <sighs> okay, you guys, I measure on a scale in grams. So the key to using Big Nine and not having problems with squeezing the tube is rolling it down from the top. Like you gotta roll it down like this, like a toothpaste, like that. I feel like so many people just like squeeze it from the middle like they're choking it. I'm just gonna mix it one to one half ratio. Okay, we're gonna use 20 volume developer, one to one half ratio. So I'm horrible at math. I did 60 grams. So 60 grams times one and a half, that makes 60 grams plus, so 90. Important to mix it with a whisk because it breaks down all the granules. So that way you get thorough mixing. I'm glad you're back. So, cause now she gets to experience the big nine. My favorite, the big nine. The big nine. She likes it big. I love the big nine. Big nine. Oh wow, that is a huge, beautiful big nine. Oh, yeah, you, you like my big nine? I love your big nine. Let me touch. It's so big. <laughs> this is very important, all right? So you'll see me here, you know, kind of scooping or spooning the big nine off of the corner. The worst thing you could do is just dunk a brush in the bowl and just dunk it in like that. And then all of a sudden it gets all over the place like that. And then you slap it in the back of your head. That's how you cause breakage. So having like perfect amount of product on the bristle just like that and then just tapping it only on the routage so that way you don't overlap and cause breakage just like so and i'm gonna move really really quick here you can see here i'm just applying it only on the routage when i lift the hair out you can definitely see the banding look how orangey this is so you can tell she's definitely a level eight that's been lifted to and then her natural hair is a two and up here is a 10. But you can see all the breakage, so it gets thinner and thinner. But you can see how white her hair got just from me just applying Big Nine. So I just finished applying the product throughout her whole entire head, but I just want to open her up in the back here so you can see how light she lifted already. So as I open her up, you can see how light her hair has lifted. It's already reached a level nine, and this is with only 20 volume. 
I'm just gonna cross over. See, just in case, because sometimes we miss spots right up here. So I just wanna make sure everything's fully penetrated. And we're gonna put a bag over her head. So I put a bag over Hugh Cow's head to trap and heat and incubate the Big Nine Lightener so it stays moist so we can lift her hair up to a level 10 if possible. I'm gonna go back in and kind of cross over to that mid shaft area where you see a little bit of that orangey band. But for now, we wanna have a little conversation. So Hugh Cow, if you guys don't follow her on Instagram, I'm gonna leave her links below so you can stalk her if you want. We've been friends for a long time. I've been doing hair for like over five or six years. And being on Instagram is like, your job, right? Would you say so? Yeah. I mean, would you, mm -hmm. would, they call you an influencer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so how do you feel about that? Uh, I guess I can feel kind of neutral about it. I think it's a really cool job, but that term has a lot of negative connotation because we're just kind of doing product placement and ads all the time. So basically, we just add people in a way. So you feel like there's that negativity, like people don't trust what you're posting or oh, something? Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. Because it is a business and like the marketers got into Instagram and they turned everything to a business and they're gonna offer money, people are gonna take it and do what the ad people want. Yeah. So it's just kind of like, yeah, I'm like a cog in a wheel of an ad machine. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. they're, everyone's taking over, everything's changed and I feel like everything's not organic anymore and it, it's affected a lot of people's health. Mm -hmm. Would you say because people were judging their their value based off of how many likes, how many followers mm -hmm. they have, so people start behaving so funny. I I know I've lost so many friends over mm -hmm. it because you know people only want to hang out with me if I have something to offer them. But then if I didn't have anything else to offer them, they're nowhere to be seen. They they only hang out with you if they you know get a tag or something. So it's hard to find good friends. For me, it's just like it's heartbreaking because I care so much about people and I always look for the best in people, but it's gone. It, it's gotten to a place where I feel like, you know, sometimes I feel alone. I don't know, that sounds weird. No, that sounds I don't weird. know. It, it's, am I sounding emo right now? No. <laughs> I'm sounding so emo. It's okay, life is hard. We all get a little emo sometimes. Yeah, it's okay. And I had a hard time because I felt kind of burnt out. Mm -hmm. Because I've been traveling the world for the last five years doing, um, you know, the, the Guy Tang World Tour, educating, teaching hair. And then so I meet so many people and people want to jump on board and go like, I want to be part of your team. But as soon as they go like, oh, they don't get this and get this their way. Because everyone's always about what's in it for them. What's in yeah. it, you know, the whole what's in it for me thing. Where for me, I don't have that luxury to go what's in it for me. For me, I'm always going what's in it for everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm always thinking about what's in it for all of us. Like what's in it for you? What's in it for, for my team? and my friends and my family. And I've been thinking about so many people that I forget to think about myself. Mm -hmm. I put my own needs aside because I'm thinking about what's in it for everybody that it literally drained me. And I felt like you can't pour out of an empty vessel, right? You can't, mm -hmm. I, I, I think that, you know, it's nice to, to, for people to kind of bring me up too so yeah. I could bring everyone else up. But people just kept pulling and pulling and pulling and I kept giving and giving until I have nothing left to give. Mm -hmm. And then I got really, really drained and then I went into like this little depression mode where I couldn't get out of bed and I couldn't, couldn't like I feel like my hands couldn't even do hair. I couldn't be creative anymore mm -hmm. and I had to get into a safe space. And you know what's funny? Mm -hmm. Music is what saved my uh, life. I start writing. Beautiful. Yes! <laughs> I start writing music, writing poems and I turn it into music and I start, um, as you guys know, I release an album called More To Me. I release so many songs that I've written through my times of darkness. Mm -hmm. You know, when I'm on the plane and I feel alone or when I'm in bed and I feel really, really depressed, I start writing words down and then I turn it into a song. Mm -hmm. And that's why my music means so much for, to me, you know? And then, but when I start putting my music out there, people start rejecting me. Mm -hmm. You know that? It's like people don't want me to do anything else other than what they know me to be. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was boxed in. I felt like I was caged in. I felt like, oh, people really don't care about my happiness. Mm -hmm. People don't care about me doing what I like to do to make me feel happy. People only want to take. Mm -hmm. People just like, oh, teach me how to do hair. Teach me how to do this. Show me this, show me that. And then, and then they, you know, to, to see that, and then they're, they're, they're not even using your product. Mm -hmm. To see that they're like, you know, taking techniques, but they're not even supporting you. And they're, and then they go on your page and constantly bash you. And it's like, gosh, there's only so much mm -hmm. a person can take. There's, I'm, I'm a person, I'm a human being. And then I go, I create the, a community of hair besties. And I feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I feel like we should support each other. We don't just have to be one thing. We, there's more to us. Yeah. We have dimension. Do you know what I'm talking about? Definitely. I'm going to show you guys how well she lifted after I removed the bag off her head. 
You can see she lifted to a level nine. She's super, super blonde. She's not level 10, but that's level nine, and that's really, really good with 20 volume on the level two hair. So this gives me room, and I know that I can actually smudge out the product furthermore. So now I'm going in using a bigger brush, right? So I'm still gonna scoot from the outside, and I'm just gonna apply it. Go ahead and bend your head down. So now I get to smudge the product further out. Just tap it on, lay it on over, and you'll see me kind of go vertically because I get to spread the product up and down, which helps the hair open up, right? So once the hair open up, you get even saturation and it makes your life easier. All right, she's ready to go. You can see she's lifted to a nine and a half, which is 20 volume with big nine. <laughs> she is even. Thank the Lord, she is even. Even after you leave me today, you're gonna go home and then three months, you're gonna bleach your own hair again, aren't you? Most likely. <laughs> See, I can't stop her, so I can only, you know. Well, I'll try to be here for you. So we're gonna rinse out Hugh Cow's hair right now. Her hair is so blonde, look at that. With just 20 volume, guys. That's the key here, like you don't have to always reach for the high volume developer. Especially when you're going on scalp and you can see here her hair is an even level 10 We removed the banding completely you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the new Guy Tang my identity. It's called strip tease. It's a direct dye remover But I want to show you guys what it's doing. So we did a test strand I put my strip tease on her hair here and look her hair is blonde and then you look at where there is no strip tease. This is her hair that we're trying to get rid of all these direct dyes from her past. And in 30 seconds, her hair turned blonde. <gasps> oh my God, I am dying. All right, so I mix up strip tease in this bowl. Okay. And her hair is like super, super blonde. I want to show you guys in comparison, like literally, you can see here versus the strip tease. And I may, I'm mainly doing this just so we could get brightness when we apply the color throughout so it doesn't look muddy. Especially on this um, lavender silvery side that she has, or greenish. Um, it's just gonna help us be more creative when we apply. Are you impressed with how fast it worked? Super impressed. I've actually never seen anything like that. Before? Mm-hmm. Okay, you guys, look at Hugh Cow's hair. I mean, can we look at her hair here? Look, it's super blonde. <laughs> you guys, strip tees. Okay, like in 30 seconds, you saw it. Like I did a side-by-side -side at the shampoo bowl. It was literally, it went from like muddy old color to like blonde in 30 seconds. You saw it. Yeah. Were well, you shook? Yes, I was shook. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no odor, there's no fumes. You didn't smell anything. No, but I didn't smell anything at all. And your hair feels soft. Yeah, it feels very nicer now. I mean, obviously the pink side, whatever she put on there, there's still a little bit of a pink cast on there, but that's not bad. Right? Uh, this is pretty blonde considering what she came in with. And look at, oh my god, I, I can't. I mean like Big Nine got you to like a level 10 platinum white with just 20 volume on scalp guys. You saw. I mean seriously. And the guy tang my daddy strip tease. Oh, uh, there's no tease about it. It completely took it all off. So I'm gonna mix several different formulas so don't get scared. So this is the Vibrant Pastels right there. So this is the charcoal flavor. I'm gonna put it right there so you can see it. This is charcoal, all right? So I use this as a shadow routage formula, and I know it always looks black. Every time people see it, they go, why are you putting black on her hair after you lift it to a 10? It's not black, it's charcoal. It creates a shadow, and after she shampooed it a couple times, it becomes like a silvery, smoky color on the root. So as it grows out, it blends, and what's really cool is that when you do remove it, it just comes right off. So the charcoal is my best friend. That's gonna be the shadow root formula. So you're pretty much open to anything, right? As long as it's pastel. Yes. So we're gonna stay in the pastel range. So I am looking at, we're gonna look at coral. We got mint. Well, we're gonna use lightning bolt and sheer power. So I'm gonna shear it out furthermore, which is crazy because you have no yellow in the, She has no yellow in her hair. She wants to put yellow. This is crazy. Okay, we definitely need lavender. Blue ghost. So this is actually a newer flavor. This is the EU blue. It's the equivalent of Arctic blue in the US. So we're gonna put a little bit of this in there. So I'm, I'm gonna squirt in a little bit of sheer power. Sheer power is gonna be your best friend to pastelize the tones even more. 
So I'm gonna put that there. Oh, we got pink diamond. We got pink diamond. And I'm just gonna put one squirt of pink possession, just a squirt. Because if you put a little squirt of pink possession, it's just gonna give it more depth, just by a booger hair. So I kind of created this little mock-up to show her that we're gonna do like a holographic fun effect. So we're gonna mix up a bunch, and then I'm gonna do this holographic effect on her hair, kind of put it on the side diagonal so she has like a, almost like this graphic effect underneath. This is not gonna go over her whole entire head, it's just gonna go over just the sides and underneath, okay? We're gonna use sheer power. So sheer power is essentially a clear. There's no pigment, it just has the base of the product, which has the right pH and right consistency and the right emollients that it helps the color penetrate without being um, you know, diluted with a conditioner base that the pH could be too you know, off. So Lightning Bolt is very, very pigmented, so you don't need too, too much. So you'll see that I want it to be pastel because if I put too high of a concentration, it can look way too like sunflower yellow. And I want it to look more of a soft yellow on her, which is a good thing. Okay, so we'll move that aside. And then we want coral, right? So here is coral. We're gonna squeeze coral out. All right, so now we're putting Arctic Blue in. So we got sheer power, because I want the blue to be less vibrant, if you will. And then I'm gonna do Mint Steel. So Mint of Steel, I find that, you know, when you squeeze out the, the tube, it can look very, very dark. But as it rinses from the hair, it's actually very, very iridescent and beautiful. And then we're gonna have, we're going to use Lavender Lust here. We're probably gonna need quite a bit of this because this is also gonna be our base. And then again, I'm gonna squirt a little bit of Purple Raven for a little depth. The last formula will be the Pink Diamond. All right, so the fun part begins. You can see I section her hair into a couple quadrants here. So you see I create like a little diamond shape right in through each side of her head. So I section out this diamond and I just use the clip to clip this off. And I create another diamond right back through here and I clip this away. And then up here on top of her head, you can see that this diamond section I have, this is gonna be the veil. So I am only gonna do the basing of this from the charcoal and to the ombre of the lavender, pink diamond and and cosmic coral and on this side this is where the fun colors are going to lay in these blocks so one two three this is where all the fun colors will be so i'll start in the back and i kind of mapped out how i'm going to place it so i create this map all right this is super exciting so you can see that i apply an ombre underneath did charcoal into lavender lust with a little bit of purple raven and to pink possession mix with pink diamond and to cosmic coral on the end. So there's a nice ombre underneath. So the key here to get everything looking straight, after you put the blue and the mint seal up here, I have to hold the hair flat and place it right down here as well. So you can see, get a board. It's gonna lay this down. So it has something for it to lay flat on so you can apply a little more pressure. And you don't need that much product on the brush. That's the key here. When you put too much product on the brush, what happens, it just becomes sloppy and messy. So you can see there's not much product on that brush. And now this gives you a great opportunity to go in with Lavender Lust, just right through here. And then make sure we go in with the mint here. Minimum product, guys, that's the key. This is so pretty. All right, so I finished working up the first block of her head uh, with the rainbow prism. So you can see, it's really about over-directing everything to one side. So I kind of over-direct everything to one side so it creates movement, it sways back and forth a little bit. But as I move up and I bring everything in and down, I have to remember to shift the tone on the routage, if you will. Because if you don't switch the tone, it's gonna look like an over-directed dark patch going down to a rainbow. And I, I wanna make sure that as we move and finger her hair, there's a prism on the scalp as well. So that's the key here. And to have that little nice shadow root ombre, internally and on top and around the face keeps it almost natural looking if you will i mean it's not really natural to have rainbow in your head but it looks super natural but look how pretty this looks so you can see i kind of closed out everything with the cosmic coral on the ends and so that way it kind of matches the cosmic coral that's ombre on the outside i'm super excited and i'm just gonna lay a mesh sheet right over the top here just to prevent any more you know any type of bleeding 
going on, just kind of covering everything up and sealing it so we can keep everything nice and clean. All right, so I'm super excited. You can see the back of the holographic color, the prism look here. And I'm gonna show you the sides here as I wing it out. Look at that, look how cool that looks on both ends. I'm gonna turn her so you get to see. <laughs> this is so exciting. Anyway guys, I'm super excited. Hugh Cow super excited. It took us pretty much all day because, you know, I it takes so much patience. That's the key here. These things take patience. I have so many hair besties message me and go like, you know, he always take eight hours or six hours. I don't always take that long. It depends on the it depends on the look that we're going for. Hugh Cow, how do you feel? I feel very excited to see how this turns out like. I mean look at it, look at that, look. What the? Whoa. Whoa. Crazy. <laughs> oh, especially right here. I love it when you go from here to here. Look, here, here. Uh, yeah, like right there, and there, and there. Keep going back and forth. Oh my gosh, I wish you could see this. Look at this, it's so pretty. So we're rinsing our hair with cold water because we don't want anything to bleed. I protect it with Olaplex, and I shampoo her hair with my Confidant Color Securing Shampoo really quickly, and then I, Right now she has my Hero Collagen Repair in her hair to close the cuticle to lock in the color so the color will last and her hair is repaired from any damage. Oh my God, oh my God, who is she? You guys, look at this. It's psychedelic. It's unreal when she turns. How do you feel about yourself? I feel amazing. I love this. I feel like a unicorn. <laughs> it, it, well, you always have rainbow hair, so you're always a but unicorn. This is like really extra. <laughs> What do you guys think? I wanna know because this is so different and it's something we needed. I wanna know what all the hair besties in the land think. Super headbang. Oh, I love headbang. Oh my God, that's her. Oh, it still looks fabulous. Dramatic hair flip. Yes, Woo. dramatic. Yes, I'm here for it. Anyway guys, okay. thumbs up, subscribe. I'm gonna leave links below so you can stalk Cow and myself on Instagram and Facebook and all that good stuff and download my new album more to me and I have so many new music. I'm super excited. Thank you for your love and support. Wow. Whoa. All you need is color and guy take music. Guy take music, <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Alexa, play guy tang more to me. Let's see what she does. Hashtag more to me by God Tang. She got it, she got the right one. Yes. Oh, there we go. There we go. We have to touch ourselves. Ooh, to touch I have to touch my hair. Yeah, touch your hair. <laughs> Download my music. Download his music. Yeah. <laughs> Download it now. Now. <laughs> yeah, so we're just, you know, feeling ourselves. Feeling ourselves. Anyway, guys, love you much. Bye. It's always nothing causing me pain. Give my